Good evening and welcome to the Saturday edition of News Central. I'm Mark Canfield. And I'm Anita Reese. Good evening. Washington's viability insurance crisis is being felt in Eniat. The Eniat City Council has rejected a request by a local ski club to use the Riverfront Park for cross-country skiing. City clerk Shirley Robertson says the city's liability insurance would not cover that activity. The council may change its mind if the ski club can come up with its own coverage. A federal study found that many senior citizens were buying more insurance coverage than they needed. In answer to this, SHIBA, or Senior Health Insurance Benefits Advisors, was begun statewide. In fact, the idea originated in Wenatchee, according to former insurance agent and current advisor Dick Lucas. Trained volunteers work with, work with the community to answer any questions seniors may have about their policies. Lucas says locally people have made good use of the free service. In the 12 years it's been offered, Lucas has found that often people do have more insurance coverage than they need, such as duplicate policies. Usually it comes back to the fact that they don't understand what they've got, what the policies will do, or what they won't do, which sometimes is more important than what they do. Free advice is available every Tuesday at the Council on Aging in Wenatchee from 10 a.m. to noon. A $4 billion radio telescope Earth station is expected to be built near Brewster in 1987. The facility will be one of ten scattered across North America that will take high-quality pictures of the universe. The concept station that's located near Brewster now is scheduled to be closed next year. North Central Washington beekeepers met in Wenatchee last night to discuss plans that would result in the formation of a state honeybee commission. About a dozen area beekeepers were on hand for the meeting. If formed, the honeybee commission would operate much like other state commodity commissions, such as the Washington State Apple Commission. A committee to form the commission was started several years ago by beekeepers who want to see a formal entity to help with industrial research and promotion. Get that one? Somebody carries the ball, works real hard, but everybody gets the some benefit. With a continuing source of funds the commission maintains, the bee industry would be able to employ professional assistants to promote our interests and enable us to be more competitive in today's marketplaces. Two key areas the Washington State Honey Bee Commission would work in for our industry are research and promotion. 600 Washington State farmers will soon receive letters informing them they're falling behind on repaying their federal loans. A two-year national moratorium on farm foreclosures has ended, and Uncle Sam wants an accounting of his money. Jeff Smith has more. The federal government hasn't been able to foreclose on farms since a 1983 court decision. That ruling ordered the U.S. Agriculture Department to notify farmers of all options available to them before starting the foreclosure proceeding. The Farmers Home Administration will do that now. Farmers will be given 30 days to decide between such things as deferring some payments to the worst case scenario, selling their farms or simply turning them over to the government. We do not expect a mass foreclosure for sure and uh, we would think that the uh, sales caused by the action would be minimal. Aldeo says the FMHA will do everything within its power to keep farmers in business. He says the 600 farmers who are behind on their loan repayments in this state alone is indicative of the agriculture industry's continued economic woes. Uh, we had a period in the 70s where exports were on the increase, uh, prices were up, uh, farming was expanding. Uh, in the 80s, the uh, Exports uh, were reduced substantially. Uh, the land prices started to fall, and I think people found themselves, uh, in some cases, owing more than their farms could produce. Unfortunately for the farmer, the agriculture industry has kept up with the times all too well, Aldea says, producing an overabundance of food. He expects the current crisis to result in a restructuring of the industry's economic and production standards. Jeff Smith, KCWT, News Central. Still ahead on News Central, a deal for snowbound senior citizens in Chelan. And also in Chelan, we'll take you to a winter snow fest. That and more when we continue. Do you know what the best kept secret in automobile ownership is in North Central Washington? These experts do. Mobile Beyond Mortal Expectation, Auto Week Magazine. It's a vehicle destined to breathe the ultimate compliment. Imitation sports car graphic. The car for those enthusiast drivers who hunger for a sports sedan with that extra edge provided by all-wheel drive, road and track. Driving an Audi is a totally satisfying ownership experience, no matter what the road conditions are. Dry, wet, icy, or covered with snow. 
The Spirit of Audi enables you to travel North Central Washington wherever or whenever you want to go with style and flexibility manufactured for your driving pleasure and comfort. And the best kept secret? This could be yours for as little as $223 per month. So experience the Audi partnership at Wenatchee Volkswagen Porsche Audi. And don't worry about the weather. Just concentrate on where you want to go. Hi, Susan. Better be right with you. Can I get you a cup of coffee? At It's Your Hair, everyone is treated as an honored guest. We have a collective commitment to building self-esteem. We realize the importance of looking good and feeling good. Our designers are well-trained to give you that style and fashion, from the look that lives to the style that moves. Whether casual or elegant, we build self-esteem. It's your hair design team. The City of Chelan is providing a new wintertime service for some folks in their community. City Administrator Skip Gore says the city will plow the driveways of those people who are handicapped or elderly and can't do the work for themselves. But we're asking people, you know, if you can't afford it, have it done by a private contractor. If you can't afford it and uh, are handicapped and shouldn't be out shoveling, then we'll take a look at it and get somebody out to clean out, the, out your driveway. Gore says so far the service has been working out well since people aren't abusing it. This winter's heavy snowfall has spelled trouble for a number of communities across north central Washington. Snow removal budgets for many cities are nearly depleted because of this year's early snowfall. One community that is coping well with the white stuff is the village of Leavenworth. There, snow removal is made a top priority and accounts for over $16,000 of the city's budget. Last year, uh, we didn't, we budgeted on an annual basis and the, the January uh, through uh, spring of last year was not a particularly heavy time for snow removal, so we had a good carryover into the first part of this winter. So. Hundreds of people pulled out their ski jackets and snow boots today and headed to the Chelan Golf Course for the community's second annual snow fest. When it comes to winter fun, you name it, and Chelan Snow Fest has it. The weekend festival has something to please almost everyone's taste, from the most traditional sleigh rides to cross-country skiing to the latest and fastest in the sport of snowmobiling. Now, it's true that Lake Chelan may be famous for its blue skies and summer sunshine, but this snow fest has proved you don't need 90 degrees in a ski boat to have a little fun. The event, sponsored in part by the Lake Chelan Chamber of Commerce, was organized just last year as a way to provide the community with year-round family fun. Why a snow fest? We need something to get the people out and the beautiful, to show them that winter can be fun too. And we're trying to offer a lot of fun winter events so they can come out and, and have some fun during the winter time. Get out of the house for a change. Today's activities will be capped off tonight with a snow hop dance at the Manson American Legion Hall, with the local snowmobile club picking up the action again tomorrow morning as the Samuel Poker Run gets underway at Anilon Lake. Near Chelan, Anita Reese, KCWG News Central. Just ahead, scores and highlights from North Central Washington basketball. And in weather, more sunny skies. That and more when News Central continues. dinner, anytime. Stevens at Mission Square awaits you. Enjoy Stevens Lounge for relaxing after work with friends, while you sip your favorite beverage, taste complimentary samples from our menu, or try our delicious appetizers. We invite you to be our special guests where you'll experience simple elegance at quiet prices. Stevens at Mission Square.
like a fine Swiss watch. The elegance of a strand of pearl. The sophistication of diamond earrings. Evergreen Optical, where function and style come together. In a game just seen on KCWT, the Cougars of Washington State seesawed back and forth all game long, even went into two overtimes before losing to the UCLA Bruins 81-80. to The Cougars playing in only their second packed team home game of the season this afternoon. Washington State spending better than two weeks on the road before coming home to face USC last Thursday. The Cougars played 11 of their first 15 games on the road and were indeed happy to be in the Palouse hosting the Bruins today, despite the one-point loss to UCLA. Another Pac-10 score to pass along. The Washington Huskies coasted to a 91-76 win over the USC Trojans this afternoon. Chris Welp and Greg Hill each had 20 points for the Huskies. The Eastmont Wildcats took a couple of quarters to get warmed up on the home court last night against Ellensburg, but used a strong, fast break sparked by an opportunistic defense to give Eastmont a 56-39 victory over the Bulldogs. Wildcats up by four, not for long though. Ellensburg's Todd Wilbur cuts the lead to a basket as he hits from baseline left. That's as close as the dogs would get as Eastmont starts a run. Gary Rimsburg hit this foul line jumper. Later, Jim Hill on the feet from Andy Erlinson. Wildcats go up by nine points. Bulldogs try to keep pace. Nice effort by Brian Calvert who comes up with two. But it's too little, too late as Eastmont pulls away down the stretch. Cats win at 56-39, their next action this evening against Othello. They have one very good score by the name of Rob Hatfield. We'll have to control him, and then we'll just have to be able to control our own offense a little bit. Lots of boys scores from last night to share with you. Once again, the Wildcats beat Ellensburg 56-39. The Wenatchee Panthers won in the basin. They beat Moses Lake 58-50. The Panthers face unbeaten Walla Walla on the home court this evening. Tip-off is at 8 p.m. The Tigers defeated Cascade last night 50-40. Gary Hagee had 13 points for Afreda. Down the road in Kashmir, the Bulldogs had no trouble with Quincy. Chelan beat Lake Roosevelt 50-41. Cooley Hartline ran up 83 points on the way to a victory against Thorpe. Liberty a winner as well. They beat Eniat 66-35. Mansfield no contest against Wilson Creek. Ray Peace had 21 in that massacre. Pateros a similarly easy win over Manson. Waterville a big winner as well. Omac 73, Okanagan 60. And finally, Tenasket defeated Oroville 71-61. John Maple and Kelly Smith had 15 apiece for the Tigers. The girls saw action as well last night in the Big Nine Conference. The Wenatchee Panthers played host to the Chiefs of Moses Lake. Action here in the first quarter. Wenatchee leads 10-9 until the Chiefs' Polly Zamora hits the lay-in. Moses Lake goes up by one. Wenatchee comes back on the break. Keisha Cantrell with the layup for the Panthers. But on the very next play, Moses Lake catches the Panthers napping. Mary Ann Garcia with the fast break hoop for the Chiefs. Back and forth it will go. Tammy France hits a baseline jumper for Wenatchee. Chiefs led 17-14 midway through the second quarter, but Keisha Cantrell's basket with just 37 seconds remaining give the Panthers a 57-56 victory over Moses Lake. Turning to the girls' scoreboard once again, Wenatchee over Moses Lake by one. Eastmount won on the road against Ellensburg. Bridgeport, a 40-34 winner over Brewster. Liberty, no trouble with Eniat. Wilson Creek posted a six-point win over Mansfield. Manson, 55. Pateros, 41. And finally, Waterville was a 54-25 winner over Soap Lake. Turning to the NFL, four teams square off tomorrow, each playing for the right to represent their conference in the Super Bowl. In the NFC, the Bears host the Rams in Chicago, while in the AFC, the Dolphins entertain the Patriots in the Orange Bowl. Mark McKay has more. The NFL is one day from knowing who the Super Bowl contenders will be. In the AFC Championship game, New England hopes to do what five other clubs have not been able to in the past. And that's beat Miami for the conference title. Sunday's game is not only the biggest for the Pats in many years. Well, it's the biggest game we've played this week, you see. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to be funny, but the, it is, uh, we've been in this situation now going on six months. The NFC title is up for grabs in the Windy City tomorrow. The seemingly invincible Bears against the best from the West, the L.A. Rams. Chicago's Walter Payton considers Sunday's matchup another day at the office. The glitter isn't there until it's over. And uh, the points on the board show that you're the victors. And then that's when it will mean something. A couple of final notes. Seahawks running back Kurt Warner is resting today after surgery for removal of bone spurs from his right ankle. 
team spokesman says Warner will be in a cast 10 days and that a full recovery is expected. And finally, the Seattle Supersonics host the L.A. Lakers this evening. Coach Bernie Bickerstaff announcing that rookie Michael Phelps will start at off guard in place of Al Wood, who is expected to be used off the bench. And that'll do it for sports. Anita's the next with your Sunday weather, so don't go away. The sounds of life belong to us all. Don't be a prisoner to your hearing loss. Even a mild hearing impairment can prevent you from keeping in touch with the outside world. At the Center for Sound Hearing, our many years of experience with hearing loss will give you the key to unlock the door to a world full of sound. We offer a free hearing test and consultation. Our certified hearing aid specialists know how to custom fit a hearing device specifically for your hearing needs. We're happy to work with you and your family to find a solution for your hearing loss. Don't be a prisoner to your hearing loss. Visit the Center for Sound Hearing soon. Do it for yourself and for those that love you. Center for Sound Hearing. Because the sounds of life belong to us all. It's Davis Furniture's fantastic January blowout. It's the biggest sale of the year. Save up to 62% storewide and get a free brass key rack. Time is running out. Put no money down and make no monthly payments until April of... We're holding nothing back. Get $1,000 worth of instant credit. Hurry before it's all over. This weekend, get super savings and great terms at Davis Furniture, Central Washington's largest furniture center. Well, I hope you had a chance to be outside and catch some of today's sunshine and blue skies because all across north central Washington and throughout the state for that matter seem more like March or April than the middle of January. Currently at Pangborn Field it's 26 degrees and the barometer is steady. Our dew point rests at 25 degrees. Up is our relative humidity at 96 percent and the winds are currently calm. Well if you like what you saw weather-wise today we have good news ahead because except for a few high clouds we can expect more of the same tomorrow. High pressure has kept most of the clouds out of the region, allowing lots of sunshine to prevail. A frontal system off the coast will begin moving in Sunday, so clouds will only gradually increase tomorrow. Sunshine again tomorrow should help maintain our mild January temperatures, and the winds will remain light, all adding up to a great day to head to the ski slopes. Currently, or checking in, that, that is, with temperatures on the west side of the state today. Conditions remain fair, with readings jumping up into the mid to upper 50s. It wasn't your average January day in eastern Washington either, with many readings in the lower 40s. In fact, Wenatchee reported a high today 8 degrees above the average, an unusual feat this winter at least. Our regional outlook for north central Washington calls for increasing areas of fog and low clouds tonight, lows between 20 and 25 degrees. Morning fog and a few clouds tomorrow as well, with highs between 35 and 40. In the Okanagan, look for mostly cloudy skies tonight with lows near 20 degrees. Partly cloudy tomorrow with highs reaching into the low 40s. In the basin, look for the clouds to move in tonight with lows in the mid-20s. A few high clouds tomorrow, otherwise warm and mostly sunny, highs near 40 degrees. The extended outlook for north central Washington Tuesday through Thursday calls for an increasing chance of fog and low clouds. Look for a chance of freezing rain or possibly snow late Tuesday. Highs in the 30s, lows between 20 and 30 degrees. Well, if you're planning on traveling across our state's mountain passes this evening, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Both Stevens and Blewett passes are reporting ice and slush in places, and snow tires are advised. The skies are clear on all of the passes, and the road is bare on Snoqualmie Pass. Well, that'll do it for weather. Up next, the WSU Cooperative Extension Report. Joining us tonight on the Cooperative Extension Report to talk about rabbits as a 4-H project is Cooperative Extension Assistant Melody Hansen. Melody, why do people choose rabbits as a 4-H project? Rabbits make, to begin with, very nice pets. You can raise them in the house and you can, they can be trained to a litter box and you need to be careful that they don't chew on your wires or, or your furniture. Um, they are easy to raise. Um, they're usually quite uh, easy to, for kids to handle. They are nice to keep in an area where you can't keep larger livestock. Um, they're just fun animals to be around and the kids like to handle them. Can a 4 h make a profit from a rabbit project? Absolutely. Um, they can grow rabbits uh, for a 
couple different reasons and make a profit on them. They can raise them for meat. Uh, they need, a person raising rabbits for meat needs to check with the State Department of Agriculture about the rules and so forth that have to do with it. They can be raised just for your own family use and for the meat. Uh, some rabbits are raised for their fur. Some rabbits, uh, as far as pelts are concerned, some rabbits are raised for their fur and in the Angora rabbit it's just plucked off and used. And then sometimes the kids will want to grow um, raised show rabbits and that they sell to other 4-H's or other people who are interested in show rabbits. What kind of things do people learn in a 4-H rabbit project? Well, first they learn responsibility because they have to learn that it's their responsibility to care for that rabbit, to see that it's fed and watered and kept clean and has straw in its box. And so that's a real important thing they learn. They learn about rabbits in general. They learn about the parts of the rabbit and the inside and the outside of a rabbit and, and what's all there. And another important thing is that they learn self-confidence. They learn how to handle their rabbit, how to show it in front of a judge, how to give a demonstration about their rabbit in front of a judge. And they just, it's just a real growing process for the kids that they learn about that rabbit, how to care for it and be responsible and be confident in front of the public with it. Hey, super. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more news. Now's the time to save on your appliances and home entertainment during Wenatchee Appliances year-end sale. It's big. Save on RCA VCRs and on RCA portable and console TVs. The savings go on. Save on quality Whirlpool appliances, refrigerators from 10 to 26 cubic feet, all at unbelievable low prices. This is a store-wide sale on Whirlpool appliances and RCA home entertainment products. It's going on right now at Wenatchee Appliance and Video Center, 115 South Wenatchee Avenue, downtown Wenatchee. Does your home look like this? For most of us, our home is our largest investment, and it makes sense to protect it, so why settle for less than quality siding installed by people who really care? All Seasons Gutters and Siding, a name you can trust, offers premium all-side siding backed by a non-prorated lifetime warranty. It looks like wood, but it lasts like steel, and you never have to paint it. If you make arrangements now for spring siding, we'll install these beautiful no-leak continuous gutters on your home free. All Seasons Gutters and Siding quality, it's our trademark. At Bob Final Boats and Motors, we have fun for all seasons, and wintertime is no exception. Come in and feel the power of an Arctic cat. Every snowmobiler has a cat somewhere in his past. Either a cat he owned or a cat he wanted to own. For those who owned one, the name conjures up pride, excitement, and good memories. For those who don't, envy, because cats have always been at the front of the pack. Join the pride. Get your Arctic cat today at Bob Final Boats and Motors, and get ready for one hot winter. It's a rare couple indeed that survives the barbs of matrimony to see their golden wedding anniversary. But here in Wenatchee, there's a happy pair that has surpassed even that amazing milestone. Today, Herb and Vivian France are celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary. Friends and family gathered at the Thunderbird this afternoon for a reception in honor of the Francis. Herb and Vivian walked down the aisle in 1916 and managed to produce quite a brood. Today, the Francis can claim six children, 18 grandchildren, and 32 great-grandchildren. What's the secret to their long-standing success? Well, like I said, the advice to anyone else wanting to do this way is to keep busy and keep cheerful and keep going. Don't forget, don't pay attention to the downs. Watch the ups. Finally tonight, what happens when a country boy goes to the big city? If the country boy is Jim Varney, everyone takes note. Jeannie Moos reports now he's trying to make it big in the Big Apple. What'll it be, Vern? Light or dark? Most Americans need no introduction to Ernest. You know, the good old boy, a bit of a hick, who sells everything from burgers to banks. They've got your automatic teller machine. And actor Jim Varney has been laughing all the way to the bank. He's done some 2,000 commercials seen in more than 100 television markets across the country, always barging in on his unseen neighbor. Hey, Vern, how's the water? Oh, hi, Vern. I didn't mean to wake you up. Hey, Vern. How you feeling? Ernest has become a cult figure with a 10,000-member fan club and all the trimmings, T-shirts, greeting cards. Our love festers like an open wound. But in the biggest market of them all, Ernest is unknown. He draws blank stares from New Yorkers as he walks the streets. Only tourists appreciate the importance of being Ernest. Hey, Vern. How you doing? He's got the biggest mouth in Texas. Certainly. 
Right. And now Ernest is bringing his big mouth like to the big that? apple, hawking a mattress and hard selling a soft drink. Presumptuously tart, yet playfully demure. Ernest reminds people of someone they know. Do you know anyone like Ernest? I know him by the thousands in Kentucky. Which is where actor Jim Varney hails from. He started his career with Shakespeare. Got everything ready. But will his down-home brand of humor make it here? Will New Yorkers succumb to the charms of a character the Wall Street Journal calls the most obnoxious on TV? I set myself up for falls. And the more obnoxious I am, the funnier it is at the end when I get it. Verna! Verna! But Ernest is betting New York falls for him, just like the rest of the country has. Check it out, Vern, right here in the Big Apple, talking big and acting rich. How about it? <laughs> Why not? I think you'll do just fine in New York. Okay. That'll do for the Saturday edition of KCWT's New Central. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Good night. Good night.